This is the Eric Herb Show live.com you can find me online at the eric herb show.com twitter.com forward slash the eric herb show also find me on spreaker that's spreaker.fm spreaker.fm forward slash the eric herb show live and of course um also on youtube youtube.com forward slash the eric herb show live okay let's get right into the news like share subscribe um the news today is brought to you by naturalnews.com. That's naturalnews.com. And on the headlines, dated Sunday, June 28th, 2020, uh, one of the headlines, it's quite disturbing, uh, is our world falls into chaos, is that the article, uh, and I quote, uh, the article starts out by saying, Anti-Christian left calls for the toppling of Jesus' statues. Okay, we kind of know what this is already going to be about here, but let me just read the article here. Uh, it was only a matter of time before the out-of-control uh, PC statue police started coming after statues of Jesus, apparently inspiring generations of people uh, all over the world that would love this that would that love their neighbors as themselves is not enough to appease liberals and definitely hasn't been tweeting in support of black lives matter the cancel culture uh, has gone completely off the rails nothing is safe anymore tv shows maple syrup classic films uh, cereal boxes nothing and now the savior to millions and millions of people around the world and some say that depicting Jesus and his family as Caucasian is a type of racial oppression and all that all these images need to be destroyed liberal civil liberal excuse me liberal civil rights leaders and Black Lives Matter supporter Sean King posted on Twitter. Yes, I think the statues of white European, uh, they claim Jesus, should also come down. They form a white suprem supremacy as they always have. Tear them down. Okay. Uh, Sean King, uh, in case you don't know, um, is a civil rights activist of Black Lives Matter. Uh, I, I don't know if he's self-appointed, but he's in that position. He's telling Black Lives Matter, BLM, to take down and tear down statues of Jesus. When does this friggin' insanity stop? The answer is it won't. It won't stop. These bastards, these people destroying property, destroying lives, property, stealing, theft, arson, and, and sometimes actually murder, this shit will never stop until we treat these organizations, Black Lives Matter, and of course, um, Antifa, treat these like the thugs that these people are. These thugs need to be sentenced, take, taken to court, sentenced, and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. These These groups are terrorist organizations they have been and they're working for the democratic party and they need to be labeled as terrorist organizations okay let's get back to the article uh, as someone who walked the earth uh, before photography existed the truth is that nobody knows exactly what color jesus skin although scholars note that most people uh, had olive skin in the time period in that part of the world in which we lived in Nevertheless, uh, as the New York Post columnist Andrea uh, Pacer points out, artists around the world tend to, tend to depict Jesus and other biblical figures that resemble people in their area. Artwork of Jesus in Europe often portrays him as being white. Uh, while in the Far East, he's made to look Asian. Ethiopians depict him as black. It is especially odd to target statues for this crime because they don't generally, generally depict skin color. But don't worry, King isn't just calling for statues to go. He added all murals, stained glass windows of Jesus, and in his European mother, 
uh, and the white friends should also come down. This is a gross form of white supremacy created by tools of oppression, racist propaganda. Well, for those people out there listening to this podcast, um, Jesus was the savior of the world, okay? Jesus was not a racist. For your information, Jesus was the king of the Jews. Jesus was the great I am, the Alpha and the Omega God. Jesus is God. Jesus gives everlasting life. People have lost their idiotic minds, and again, this is a pre-planned agenda. I'm trying to keep my cool here, uh, to keep from yelling and screaming through this microphone, as I see the idiots around the world, not just here in the United States, it's very bad here in the United States, but around the world, do the most stupid, idiotic things I've ever seen in my life. It's vandalism, it's a crime, it's violence, it's destruction of property, it's arson, larson, every other every other thing, larceny, it's 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 insanity. These people need to be prosecuted, as I said, to the fullest extent of the law. These people are criminals, they're violent, they need to be locked up. I have no sympathy for these these left-wing lunatics because they are the party. They are the violent party of the left-wing lunatic. And because the Democratic Party, that's also controlling these, along with George Soros fun- funding and finance, of course, uh, boy George there, Georgie boy, Georgie boy Soros, they're financing these groups especially Georgie boy and because these groups are bought and paid for by George Soros and directed through him and the Democratic Party and it is a election year Trump's hands are tied President Trump's hands are tied he cannot do anything with this however he just in the last couple days he passed a executive order stating If you tear down a statue and if you're caught and it's a federal statue, in other words, a government on government property, a federal statue, you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. And this is what needs to happen. And as I said on my other podcast earlier, this anarchy, insanity, and craziness and just all out bullshit needs to end and end right now. If... Democratic mayors, Democratic governors won't take care of their state. I'm just going to say this, and I'm big pro, pro, huge pro Second Amendment, uh, First Amendment, Second Amendment uh, uh, constitutionalists here. If you do not know how to manage your state during a crisis, if you do not know how to take care of your people in the state, and the federal government has to push you aside, literally push you aside and shove you aside and manage your state for you because you're fucking incompetent or you're, you, you want to wreck everybody in your state and crash your state's financial and economic. Um, you completely want to crash the economics in your state and the livelihood of millions of billions of people that live in these states, then you need to be fired. You need to be fired. You need to be prosecuted because you're a treasonous bastard anyway. You don't deserve to be a governor. You don't deserve to be a mayor. Your job as mayor and your job as governor is not to placate to these crazy imbeciles, these insane far left wing groups. They are a minority, okay? You'll see this come election day. These far left wing wackos that you are afraid of, a big group of a hundred or a thousand or maybe five or ten thousand or twenty thousand, pale in comparison to sixty five million Trump supporters, okay? There might even be a million. Okay, say there are a million. Who cares if there's a million or even two million? I'm I'm exaggerating here, but even two million. 
what are you going to do against 65 or 66 million Trump supporters that are going to pull the lever and go into the voting booth in November or write in their ballot or whatever? What are you going to do to that when they say, no, screw you, fuck you, we don't want any more of your bullshit, we want President Trump for another four fucking years. So kiss my ass, that's all I got to say. Kiss my red ass, you people need to go back to the hell you came from. Down here in Florida, I'm just going to tell you, I'm going to go the opposite direction here. Down here in Florida especially in Central Florida. There's a sheriff in Polk County. The sheriff's name is Sheriff Grady Judd. He's a good man. He's uh, towards the West Coast, uh, a little bit, uh, about uh, 35 minutes or so from Tampa. Uh, I've been through uh, Polk County, Lakeland, and, and around there many times. He said here about 30 days ago or so, he said, well, he says the... Uh, folks of Polk County are armed and if you loiter if you rob you steal and you try to break into their home he has given his approval to blow you right back out the door right the fuck back where you came from so I'm saying don't bring your shit down here to Florida at least to central Florida over in Tampa, this is just a day or two ago, they started this bullshit and this rioting down there in Tampa, central Tampa. I used to live there. Downtown in the business district. Well, the TPD or Tampa Police Department lined up. They were waiting for them, ready to go. They had cans of mace in hand and everything else, and they started, started acting up and trying their bullshit. They set a curfew from 6.30 a.m. to 7.30 p.m., the people didn't dispatch. They, they didn't disperse, rather. What happened was Tampa told them, the Tampa Police Department told them to, to, uh, to leave. They didn't leave, and so they sprayed them. They sprayed them good. You don't listen to the law. If you want to violate the law and you don't want to protest peacefully under the Constitution, you have that right. This isn't, this isn't a protest of peacefulness. This is a protest of violence. When you start destroying, when you start throwing rocks and stones and bricks at buildings and rocks and stuff at cops and Molotov cocktails and all this other shit, you have whatever it comes, you deserve it. If you throw a rock at a police and injure a, uh, injure a policeman or a policewoman, and then they fire rubber bullets and you cry, wah, I got hit, wah, it serves your ass right. You're lucky they didn't kill you. I'm just going to say that. You're lucky they did not kill you. You screw around and fuck with the police department, you're going to get what you deserve. Nine out of ten times, if you're throwing things and throwing obstacles to hurt, hurt maim, or, or, or kill a, a police officer, you're going to get shot and killed. You deserve it. You're an asshole. I'm just going to say it. You're an asshole. There are better ways besides letting the Democratic Party control you. And George Soros and the money. You think because all they do is they, they have the strategy of conquer and divide, conquer and divide. You think that this is going to work. You're going to cause lots of damage. You're going to cause lots of people money. You're going to cause taxes to go up. Then you think everything's fat, dumb, and happy. And you have this, this dyslexic dystopia of you actually think that communism and socialism is good. Well, take a, take a look at any place around the world that has that right now. It's not good. Look at China. China's fucked. China, when China tells the people, you got to stay home, you got to stay home. You're locked up. You're, you're like a fucking animal in a cage. Look at Venezuela. Look at South America. I, I, I can go on and on and on with socialist nations. You really, really, really uh, are, are I, I feel sorry for you people that support these groups. You're really, really, really very ignorant. 
and I mean that sincerely. I pray for you because I'm a Christian and I'm a human being. And I pray that you don't decide to go in and start burning down all these churches, but I know you probably will or try. And uh, I'm a Christian. I'm a human. I'm a human being. I'm a Christian. I'm a child of God first and foremost. And I'll pray for you people. But when you break the damn law and you hurt one another and you end up killing people in the process because of your stupid, idiotic, false belief of Black Lives Matter that's not true and Antifa, whatever the hell day it is and whatever the hell they decide they want to stand for, when you start putting each other first and putting party, uh, Democrat and Republican, putting that bullshit out the door and start putting yourself and humanity first and putting God first in a situation, putting Jesus Christ first. Then and only then will you start to understand the rationale and understand and be able to understand each other and to come to conclusions where you can solve problems in humanity. They will always divide us they will always try to conquer us, black against white, white against black. I said that in my last podcast. It, this is nonstop. This has been going on since humanity has ever been created. I love my black fellow human being, either male or female. It doesn't matter. I love them with all my heart. But when you try to kill people, and you don't do peaceful demonstrations and you, 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 you try to assert the Constitution and you think by wrecking your own black community, you think by wrecking their own businesses that this is about George Floyd, you're way the fuck off. There, this is not about George Floyd. This is all a setup. And if you would just stop, please, and stop and just think, what the fuck am I doing? Why am I doing this? I'm emotionally charged, and that's what they try to do, emotionally charge you. Oh, it's always about the white man. It's the white man. The white man has me down. The white man, the white man, the white man, the white man. You think by killing us all, your problems are going to go away? Your problems will never end. I see that. I see that with Muslims as well. They think by eliminating everybody on earth and there's only Muslims, the problems go away. No, the problems are still there. Even in your own community, the problems are still there. As I said before, when you give your life to Jesus Christ and you really, really, really give your life to Jesus Christ and you realize that there's something more important, more bigger than yourself that created you, you're special, you're a human being, you're a person, you're a child of God. Then and only then will you realize how important and sacred life is and how important your fellow human being is, the one standing right next to you, even though if they're not your color, how important they are. And again, it's not just about black lives matter. It's all lives matter. Red, yellow, black, and white, they are precious in the sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. And that might sound crazy, and that might sound insane, but that's the truth. Jesus does love all the little children of the world. He loves everybody. And when you stop your damn chaos, and stop your anarchy, and stop your bullshit, and just stop and think, what the hell am I doing? Why am I doing this? This is Eric Herb from The Eric Herb Show Live. You can find me online at theericherbshow.com. Of course, twitter.com forward slash The Eric Herb Show. Find me on Spreaker. That's spreaker.com forward slash The Eric Herb Show Live. Then, of course, on Anchor, anchor.fm. That's anchor.fm forward slash The Eric Herb Show Live. Like, share, subscribe if you like this podcast. Take care of yourself, and as always, God bless. Stay safe, stay healthy, and remember, Jesus loves you.